there, it's Vanessa Warwick here of Property Tribes TV on behalf of the Property Investor Show 2011 and in another preview interview I'm joined by Mark Alexander of Property 118. And Mark, um, what, you're going to be at the show this year, you haven't been for a little while, why are you going back in 2011? That's right, I think it's been about five years since I last went to the show just because I've been away and uh, the market's changed a lot and I think it's going to be great because I've been very active online in the last 12 months so uh, met up with a lot of people. I'd like to put names to faces. It'll also be great to go around the show, see what who's exhibiting, what they're doing, how the market's adapted, and just get a little bit more in tune with the market again. Mm. Do you think it's important for the industry to have a big focal point offline event like this, where we can all meet and chit chat and discuss strategies and the way forwards in property? Yeah, absolutely. And I think with these events, that the night before and the night after are equally important as the show as well, because. You know, you can only arrange to have so many coffees with so many people during the event. And it's great to walk around and pick up the leaflets or, you know, if you've got something to sell to be there with your stand and, and so on and so forth. But I do, I do think those social events and those social gatherings in the pub afterwards and, you know, over lunch and that sort of thing are equally as important. And, yeah, as you say, it's a focal event that brings everybody together. And I think, you know, the social side of things is where the business really does happen, doesn't it? Yeah, indeed. So it's important to be there. So you're going to be um, sitting on the panel of what we're calling My Big Fat Property Debate. Oh, right, OK. I didn't know what the name was going to be. Yeah. So are you looking forward to seeing what the community's interested in talking about? Yeah, absolutely, because you never really know who's going to be there on the day. And uh, these live debates are always great fun. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what comes up. What do you think the kind of um, issues are affecting landlords at the moment? I mean, last time there was a lot of talk about interest rate rises. Clearly, nobody can predict the future. But I think there are other issues that should be discussed, such as um, LHA changes, lack of financing, etc. What's on your mind in that regard? I think lack of financing is definitely the one that will come up. Um, mm -hmm. Lenders' margins, the fees that they're charging being so much different. Uh, the fact that people... I uh, got accustomed uh, sort of in the last 10 years, they stopped about a couple of years ago, but they got accustomed to doing deals with no money down uh, and they're frustrated because they're in low or negative equity, they can't remortgage. Uh, if they do and they are in a position to, it's going to cost them a fortune to do so in fees and their margins are going to be higher. And the market to a certain extent has been stagnated with the exception for those who've got uh, n nice large cash reserves. Mm -hmm. And of course, they're, for them, property values have come down significantly. So um, I, I think there will be a, a real split in the room of people who are saying, you know, the, the property market's dead and other ones who are saying it's never been better and mm. obviously that depends on how much money they've got in the bank. Mm, absolutely. And um, when you were at the Money Centre, you, you, had a, you were an exhibitor there. Yes. Um, do you think you'll be exhibiting in the future? We never know. Um, you know, we've had to scale the operation down very significantly at the Money Centre. So, you know, when we did the, the buy to let in the bag campaign uh, about yes, five years that. ago, <laughs> um, there was 300 of us and it was a completely different set of economies of scale. Uh, hopefully Property 118 and the directory element of that will grow and, and we'll have those kinds of budgets uh, again. But uh, it's not going to stop me going to the events uh, and, and putting names to faces and and making people know that we're still around. Absolutely. So if you'd like to uh, meet up with Mark at the Property Investor Show, then um, probably a good idea to get in touch in advance and schedule in some time with you. Yeah, people can drop me a line at yep. uh, mark at property118.com uh, or go on to Property Tribes and uh, you'll see that I'm a regular poster there. So have a chat with me there. Brilliant. And um, I very much look forward to your contributions on the Big Fat Property debate because I think it's going to be quite interesting. I hope we get some really good um, conversations going, have a little bit of controversy, differing opinions because through that we can all learn, can't we? Excellent. Yes, yeah. indeed. All right. Thanks very much. That's Thank Mark you, of Property 118. He's going to be on the panel at the Big Fat Property debate and uh, do look out for him at the show. Thank you very much for watching. See you there.